there has been a couple of themes that have kind of, you know, perked my ears. Um, definitely, and I've said this in other, you know, interviews, are we the community's college? It's one thing to be a community college, but then are we the community's college? Meaning, if there's something that community is looking for, is there something that business and industry is looking for, are we their first phone call? Or are we the afterthought? Um, another thing that I've heard is just our, our medium and our modes of communication. So how are we communicating, you know, who we are? How are we communicating what's out there? Um, I had a listening session with our RAs, our resident you know, assistants, and one of the things that they said to me was, how do we stop being the best kept secret? And that resonated with me because I've heard that several times, and not just from internal, but I've heard that from external. And so I'm like, okay, so again, if we think about how do we heighten that start, stop, and continue, where do we need to elevate some things so that people know who Bay is, um, you know, not just know of us, but then walk inside those four walls. And everybody says the same thing when they walk inside those four walls. Oh my God, this campus is so beautiful. My own family said the same thing <laughs> when they came. And so it's like, how do we get people in those four walls, but then also really share what the opportunities are that exist within, within those four walls as well. Um, the other piece I've really heard is how can we really prepare our students for the 21st century workforce skills? And so what are we doing as far as our partnerships with business and industry? You know, can we strengthen those partnerships? Absolutely. Um, have business and industry partners approached me and said, I would love to do something with you, we, for whatever reason, we just haven't been able to, you know, make it work. So then my thing is, okay, then how can we make that work? Um, had a great conversation with the superintendents, um, not just with in Delta County, but also Dickinson and Iron County, um, you know, and said, same thing, how, how do we make this work? Um, what are some things that we need to be thinking about? When we have, you know, early college dual enrollment, that's about 21% of our revenue, we have to do something differently. We have to work more as partners, and what does that look like? So there, there may be some processes and policies that, that we may have to, you know, change or, or put into play, because right now they're not quite working. Um, some areas are working, but some areas there's a lot of opportunity.